avoid the wild card round. Trey just hoping to hang around. And we kick it off here in Pizza Hut Stadium, and Deliverance will get it first. He'll take it from the 20 and be forced out of bounds at the 28-yard line. And, of course, we talked about all that's at stake. How about a little cash? That's not a bad thing either. And if you get, if you're Deliverance and you get this win, you know, you get yourself straight into that final eight, which gets you that $10,000 mark. And if you're, if you're Trey, you don't know if you're going to advance or not. This, this, you don't know if this is a win and get in game because game, there's probably some implications in the Noah versus JD game. So this is a huge game for both of these players. A lot at stake. Money, glory, advancement within the bracket. And not to mention a little bit of a rivalry. Because I'll tell you, Trey told me, Scott, after Deliverance beat him in the win and get in game, his girlfriend Lori made a post on Twitter that showed Deliverance celebrating. He was obviously pumped up. And Trey saw that and he didn't like it. He said he was going to use that as extra motivation going into this bracket. Set up their audibles, getting the coaching adjustments ready to go. Formation substitutions and then will be ready to rock between Deliverance and Trey. These are two certainly different camps when you think about the guys that these guys lab with. Deliverance, is, he's never really been a lab type of guy. I know he plays with Problem Child a little bit, who we saw in, I believe, the Bengals Club earlier this year. He's a longtime veteran as our admin's taking a look at something. Well, while the admins look at an audio issue over on Deliverance side, let's talk standings here in Group C. You can see Deliverance 2-0. and oh. He gets a win here. Obviously, he's in. He gets the bye. He, he's going to have to skip that wild card round. Trey, after that ugh, that tough first game, come battling back. You get a win here, and it's, it's all Gucci. Exactly. The fact that Trey's back in business is huge. I mean, pretty much, this is completely up for grabs. If Deliverant lost and Noah won, then Noah could potentially maybe get that by. There's a lot going on here. The point for all of these players is you better win the game that's in front of you because there is implications, and nobody is completely out of it yet, I believe. All right, so here we go. Everybody's ready. Time to rock. Deliverance will have it first. Joe Montana will take it from the 28-yard line. Goes up under center. He'll stretch it to Corey Dillon. Spins back inside. That'll be enough to push him to the 31. Deliverance told me one thing he was pumped up about playing in the Madden Challenge. As he gets to rock his Pittsburgh Knights jersey. You see that jersey he's rocking there, Scott. That's his sponsor. The Pittsburgh Knights, you know, if they've taken good care of him, he says it's been a true honor and pleasure to be able to represent them, and he wants to make them proud here at the Madden Challenge. Well, so far, so good. Corey Dillon takes a big hit at the 41, but it's enough for the first down. And when we looked at the ladder, Deliverance was one of the top five runners on the ladder. I believe he's number three in rushing yards per game, number three in rushing attempts per game. I mean, this is a guy that was committed to running the rock and has had a lot of success doing so. And we saw that in his first two games. And we saw Trey struggle stopping the run in his game versus Noah. So if you're Trey, you're going to have to make some adjustments to that run defense because it's not going to get any easier when you're dealing with Deliverance and his ground and pound attack. So first and ten, back to Corey Dillon. And he'll fight his way near midfield. That's a gain of six yards. It'll be a second and four. Keep waiting for that RPO that we saw a lot in his first two games. Kind of lulls you to sleep up the middle, and the next thing you know, he pops it to the outside. It makes it hard to really commit to the run because you know that bubble might be just rolling out there. And it's not like if you complete that bubble in space, it's like a three or four yard gain. That, that, that hits you for a big gain, Scott. Especially if it's Hollywood Brown that gets his mitts on it. Forget about it. Who needs passing? Corey Dillon will strike first for deliverance. The field deliverance, that's exactly what you want to do in this tournament. Stick to your game plan. Keep the ball on the ground. You see Trace talking to himself. He is not happy. He knows he needs to get stingy on that run defense. And I'll tell you what, Scott. 
If you were looking for a money run play, not that there aren't any in Madden 20. People know how to move the rock. This dive out of that strong close formation has slowly become the meta in this event, as you see it right here. Go to the cripple. What a block by the fullback. That'll spring him untouched. 53 yards and deliverance up seven here early. And that Corey Dillon, he was one of my best running backs coming into this tournament. I mean, he has all kinds of stats. 91 speed, 90 juke move. He's going to have a 94 carry rating. So getting that guy to put the ball on the ground is no easy task. And Deliverance told me he was very happy to see him pop up in his legend rounds during this draft. Remember, if you're new watching this with us, these guys aren't playing with the Miami Dolphins or the Pittsburgh Steelers. Those are just their uniforms. These guys went through a draft process and drafted these teams in the mutt draft mode. Deliverance fortunate enough to draft that Corey Dillon. Trey will get it on offense trying to answer. <laughs> Nearly two minutes gone by. Opening this one up and Joe Mixon going nowhere. I guess. Something that I promised Trey that I would do, Scott, was shout out his son. He has a newborn baby boy, wow. Trey Jr. So not Scott Jr. He's not a, not a super fan. <laughs> He's got Trey Jr., his girlfriend, LaTanya, back home watching. And he said, Mom Pamela will definitely be watching. Shout out to them. They got to be watching this intently because this game right here could very well decide if Trey advances or not within this bracket. Trolls his own destiny with a win. Third and eight. And he throws it man. right into coverage. It's picked off by Deliverance. Get He's out, got baby. a convoy. Is it a pick Go six? Out. No. Come on. They cut him down at the one. Rocky, Trey, come on. <laughs> you see that, Scott? <laughs> you got Michael Pinter, a.k.a. Deliverance, pumping himself up. Trey responds right back. Now Deliverance looking to punch it in. And yeah. Corey Dillon will lose oh, two man, yards. Can he hold the door? Remember, he gave up nearly 300 rushing yards in that opening game to Noah. I do like his attitude right now. He's trying to fight. He made a big mistake, but he's trying to, you know, stay positive. A holding of the door here would be huge for him. Corey hold Dillon. Him. Come on, man. Hold the door. Goes nowhere. He's calling for it. He's calling for his Hodor. Are you Hodor or not? Hold the door. What type of run defense you got? Third and goal. Ready, ready. Deliverance trying to go up two go. touchdowns. Here we go. I mean, this has to be the dive out of the strong close. I think Deliverance knows he's running it. Trey knows it's coming. Oh, he's showing off tackle. Check. Check out, Hot. Taking his time. Cool Joe Montana at the Check line. Out. Needs three yards, and he's going to use a timeout. Why not? First half. Yeah, why not in the first half? I agree with you completely, Scott. So 44 seconds to go in the first. This is a 7-0 ball game. And Deliverance trying to cash in after an interception. But he's only managed to lose two yards. Third and goal from the three. Going to go outside. Corey Dillon cuts it back, well and he's good, shut man. down. Hodor? Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, if you get the ball at the one yard line, keep him out. That was back when that show was good. Hodor. I will say, though, Scott, I love Trey's attitude right there. He threw the pick. Deliverance was all pumped up about it. And, and Trey immediately right back said, come on, Trey, let's go. Hold the door. He kept himself in it, kept a positive attitude, stayed focused at the task at hand, and was able to hold Deliverance to three. And if you're Trey, if you can come back down here, get this ball, get yourself a score, make it one possession, you're all the way back in business. Yeah, remember, he gets the ball to start the second half, so... Thing, He's like, really not baby. down a possession if he can make something happen here. But it's 10 unanswered by Deliverance. And Trey will have to go to work to start the second quarter here from the 29-yard line. Randall 
Slings it to the outside, and T.Y. got just a few. Did you see how fast Deliverance clicked onto that corner and rallied down to that flat pass? Almost got another interception. That was a lightning quick reaction from Deliverance. Trey again, all kind of time. Going to use his legs. And he'll smartly slide down at the 39 after picking up the first down. Did not want to challenge Roberts there. No, no, no. You have to protect that quarterback. Trey so far, you know, still in this game. And you got to remember, if you're Trey, you've practiced with the best of the best getting ready for this tournament. I mean, we're talking about guys like Boogs, Drini, Skimbo, Dubby, Clef. He had a who's who of the Madden community getting them ready to compete in this Madden challenge. So that should do wonders for your confidence. And you got to think, those type of guys, they'll rub off on you a little bit. And maybe we saw a little bit of that after he threw that interception. He stayed focused, like we said. You saw Radiant in the clubs, just hanging out with those guys for a couple days. Ended up winning what, a club. What that did to his defense. For sure, that's a good point. First and ten. Cunningham gives it to Ridley. And the former Crimson Tide wide receiver will take us all the way down to the 26-yard line. If you're Trey, too, you're never really out of the game. He has the number two passing attack in the entire tournament. Honestly. You hear him up there saying this is easy, easy work. work. Man. I can score whenever I you want. You know, yesterday, three games, in. I gave zero college Cover references. Cover three weekend league defense, man. Just to prove I Cover can do Cover three, it. no adjustments. <laughs> Come on, Trey. I know that was tough for you. <laughs> How about the... not get adjusted. You hear him. He's giving himself some motivational words of encouragement up there. He's already in field goal range. Hands it off. Joe Mixon. Work his way to the 20-yard line. I'll be honest, I'm enjoying this mud draft mode. No disrespect to X factors and abilities. Certainly have their time and place, but this is a good change of pace over these first two days. Speaking to the competitors, they feel the same way, Scott. A, a lot of them refer to it as that, a good change of pace, a good way to just get back the classic chess match, not worrying about abilities. Have to have some diversity in the playbooks you use. It's been a great event so far. Second and three at the 20. Cunningham turns, fires. There's T.Y. in the flats, and he'll fight for the first down. Good drive right now for Trey Thomas. 24-year-old from Sacramento, California, moving the ball. You got three in your back pocket, but sure seven would be sweet. Oh, that would be huge, Scott. You know, like you said, getting the ball to start the second half. He's milking this clock and to try to make sure Deliverance has very little time to put a drive together if he was to get the ball back. What you can't do if you're Trey right now is turn it over. And Mixon will actually lose three yards there, push him back to the 19. And here comes a timeout. And it's going to be Deliverance's second. He has one remaining. Not really seeing any success from Trey when he's putting the ball on the ground. His strength is obviously slanging the rock through the air, throwing lasers out of his gun tray wide flex, lapped it up with bugs, specifically for this Madden challenge. Deliverance did say he watched the tape on this, though knowing he was going to play Trey, he watched Boogs' this game, try to get a feel for what they want to do out of this formation. And, and right the there! Ball. And, and Dunlap scoops it up! Handle the pressure! And no one's on the screen! Deliverance! Hand we'll take the it to the house. It's a big guy touchdown. That is so big for deliverance. Shout right. out to my boy Goss back home. DNL Blitz. DNL Blitz. Appreciate that. Scream is shouting out back home. I guess one of his boys, yeah, Goss, hooked set, him up with the heat. blew it in with the heat. Look at Trey. He's trying to shake it off even still. From my squad. Well, I'll tell you what, we're sitting at 17-0. Randall Cunningham, you're not yourself when you're hungry because it's a Snickers fumble. And Carlos Dunlap, well, 
you know what happened in the end. Why is Dunlap getting the fat guy <laughs> animation? He's like a speed defat DN. He's not really a fat guy. Harrison, boy, was that a potential 14-point swing. The point I was trying to make as that happened was Deliverance watched a lot of tape on Boogs and told me earlier today when we first got here, I asked him about this matchup, and he said, you know what, I feel prepared for that Trey Wide flex. I watched a lot of tape on it. I have a good idea of what I want to do to contain it and not let up the big plays. And sure enough, he didn't let up any big plays and forced the turnover in the red zone. The one thing Trey couldn't allow, he allowed it. He's going to run it with Randall, and he'll get out of bounds. Should be enough for the first down out to the 47. Two timeouts remaining. Still in business with your trade. The most important thing here is obviously just points. Get the points, get the ball to start the second half. Have a good chance to make it one possession. Subs out of bounds with Harmon. Mecole takes it to the 46 and plus territory. 40 seconds remaining. Still keeping those two timeouts. Getting out of bounds right there. Big. And I'm liking Trey's aura right now. He's, he's still, you know, fighting. He's, he's still looking like he's trying to motivate himself. He's not down. He's not out. He knows there's plenty of John Madden football to play here. Slowly putting the drive together. He just needs to stop turning the ball over and start making some big plays. Put a little pressure on deliverance on the veteran. Second and two. Trey gets it to Harbin, and he'll go down at the 40-yard line, and he's going to use one of his two timeouts. So he just has just one remaining for the rest of his 35 seconds left in the half. Needs to get himself in the field goal range right here, Scott. It's the most, that's the top priority. Just a four-man rush. He's going to use his legs. going to get a block. No, great move to get out of bounds. That was nasty, Coltrane. He thought he was going to have to slide, use that last time out. Instead, he uses the right sticks, get a little jukey with Cunningham. Get out of bounds, stop the clock, and keep the drive going. But you have to be careful not to get greedy here again and turn it over. Points is the most important thing. I cannot stress it enough, Trey Thomas. Cunningham swings it to the outside. And You're Ron so Woodson you are so blind. nearly game picked it off. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> Calls him blind and then immediately goes right back into focus mode. Trey, very fortunate that wasn't picked off right there. That, these are the type of reads you can't make if you're Trey. It seems like he looks so prolific, so crispy, and then he just thumbs out halfway through the drive. Red zone-ish has been an issue. And T.Y. will get a little bit closer, but now you got the runoff. you got to use your timeout there. Let's take your three. He's going to run it all the way down, call a timeout, and kick the three. Take your three. Said something about Deliverance's Pittsburgh nightshirt. How about Taylor Gang with the Need It? We are Madden showing support to our community. Our guy Dubby, who he labs with. Shout out to Dubson. You know he's at home watching. So we cut it to a 14-point game, 17 to 3. Able to eke out a field goal there late. So it's Deliverance 17, Trey 3 here at the half. Let's go over to James for some highlights. Scott Cole, thank you so much. Noah, JD, our other matchup. This is JD punching one in for six. Would take the seven to nothing lead there after Noah turned it over on downs on his first possession. All right, think you're the best head-to-head -head Madden player around? If so, take your talents to Anaheim, California, where DreamHack will be organizing their next Madden tournament, featuring a $25,000 prize pool. Registration is limited, so don't miss your opportunity to compete against the best Madden players around. Visit dreamhack.com slash Anaheim for more information. All right, let's send it back to Scott Cole in RG. RG, I was at a DreamHack tournament 2003 in Sweden calling Counter-Strike 1.3. I believe and you. That, <laughs> you've been around the block, my friend. So I, I mean, get a smile every time I see DreamHack that it's still out there rocking, and I, it's so cool that Madden's a part of that. Uh, you know what I think is so cool is whenever you think of 
You know, esports a competitive game and commentary. I think of the Coltrane. That's what's cool to me. Well, hopefully on Saturdays this fall you think about a little college football. I'd appreciate it. I'm, I'm sure we will. We'll look forward to seeing you shine in whatever you do, my friend. I got to get a Central Florida game. Get down there in Orlando. You know, the, the, the girls have been calling yeah. for another vacation since that Canada trip. I know, we took to Toronto last time. We've kind of spoiled them. Cunningham able to get to the T.Y. T.Y. makes a man miss. He certainly had good stick work, but you talk about Trey, just not led to points. He's a really good player. He just has this tendency to make these crucial mistakes at the worst time. Something I wanted to say, Scott, looking at my notes on both of these players as Trey's about to snap the ball. Talk about it right after this. Yeah, he's going with a little bit of pace here, down 14, and Cunningham will get out of bounds. The point I was going to make is both of these guys are former football players themselves. They played a lot of football growing up, some high school, some college, and now both of them use this competitive gaming, and Madden is the outlet catch, baby boy. to, you know, get those competitive Not juices the going. Alert, they they usually front. don't have the opportunity anymore now that you don't get to play football to compete at a high level for something very meaningful. And competitive gaming and Madden does that for both of them. Joe Mixon get out of there, Joey! finds a lane. Get out of there, Joey! And I mean, Mixon, you, Mixon it up to the end zone for Trey. Line. That's on me, bro. You're in trouble. You got to stop me too, though. That's just bad stick on my part. I had you in the backfield. You ain't do nothing. You ain't do nothing. Four plays, 75 yards for the score. Speaking of competing <laughs> for high stakes, for something significant, how about Trey Thomas went down 17 points, made some bad mistakes this whole time he's been up there telling himself, now I'm going to continue to fight. And you heard him, he said, I've been fighting my whole life, and he fought for all of this right here. Joe Mixon getting sticks in. And here we go, we got ourselves ball game. Deliverance fighting for that bye. Trey fighting to stay into the tournament. You saw JD was up on Noah. That would, that's not what he would want to happen. So this is what I'm talking about in group play, Scott. It's been two t costly turnovers by Trey. Oh, but if you miss, though, he had man, the scoop of the I, score I, 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 and the fumble. You don't want to yeah, play Turnover with that. for six. Uh -huh. And then the interception that was taken all the way back to the one. So it was ten points off turnovers. But a good job there on first down and making a loss of three. And Deliverance will face the second and 13. Brown coming in motion. Montana. It's it to Grant, and it's an easy seven. On One thing you should take away if you're, you know, just a Madden player at home is how much these pro players are utilizing that hitch route out of the slot. That's a hot route that any receiver can get if they're in that slot position um, or if they're compressed in a close position. So you see how Brown and Grant, they're not technically in the slot, but since they're compressed, they'll also get the hitch in that situation. You got to start using that hot route. It's money. And there goes Todd Gurley. Former Bulldog gets pushed out of bounds at the 43. Now this is a significant sequence of downs coming up right here because Deliverance not yet in field goal range, only up one possession. If you're Trey and there's a time to get stinge mode on defense, this is it. You do not want to let Deliverance get into field goal range. you got to do whatever you can to keep this one possession. Here comes Brown once again on first and ten. Two minutes to go here in the third. This is Group C play here at the yes, Challenge sir. in San Francisco, yes, California. And that's yes, sir. good stop Thank on you, first Clint. down. Good looking out. Thank you, Buzz. Good looking out. What a guy shouting out his lab <laughs> partners. Saw Deliverance do the same earlier. All class all the time from these two. Yeah, I mean, Books is in the building, so you don't even have to, like, get online to lab up. Just head back to the hotel and make it happen. 
It's another cool thing about these events. These oh, yeah. guys, you know, they practice online all the time. You, you form these friendships. Then you both make a live event. Now, now you're, you're hanging out instead of online. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In person. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right now, Trey doing exactly what we said he needed to do, playing some stinge mode defense. And a big, big third down coming up. This is significant, Coltrane. Needs 10 to gain, but of course, if he can get eight here, that'll be around field goal range. What is Deliverance got here on third down? Joe Montana. Gets it to Kittle. Short, and we got a situation. We do have a situation. It's fourth and eight. We're not talking Jersey Shore. And he will go. He's sort of in no man's land right now. There's he no can take it to the fourth quarter. Yeah, yeah that's what I was going to say, Scott. There's no way he snaps this ball. And though Deliverance not in field goal range, that's the one thing he's done on this drive very well is manage the clock and shorten this game for Trey. And this fourth and eight play to start this fourth quarter is probably going to be the biggest play of Trey Thomas's Madden career up until ready? this point. Are you ready? Put up your fours. It's the final five minutes in this one between Deliverance Here I come. and Trey. It was a 17 unanswered points by Deliverance, and Trey has come roaring back with 10 of his own. This is everything right now. Fourth and eight. Trips to the right, little motion. Watch for that Kittle. He's got the crosses with the dig. Everything's guarded. And it is Kittle. Hey, cheat him. They cheat you because they can't on. beat I clicked you, on and in possession. I mean, it's a little fluky. It's a little fluky, but I clicked on and ain't like I let there. I'm going to take it, though. I'm going to take it. Oh, you can best appreciate a man who appreciates the fluke, no doubt. If I can't. It's a Do first it down at the 15-yard line. Red zone time for Deliverance. And like Deliverance said, Scott, he clicked on and hit the possession catch. Sure, it was in some traffic, but he did get his hands on it first. And Kittle doesn't meet those route running thresholds you always hear the pro talk about. But one thing he does have is some decent catch in traffic, which allowed him to hold on to the ball right there. That's one of his big players making a big play. Out of bounds, and Dylan will be forced out of bounds at the nine yard line, 412 to go. That play was huge. Yeah, Kittle with a about an 83 catch in traffic. That's a 91 catching rating, and he used all of those ratings right there. The, everything was back too. I mean, if you're deliverance, you, it's fourth down. You do got to put the ball in the air, try to give yourself a chance. Just really worked out for him right there. Your heart's got to go out to Trey. The thing is, the ball was floated up there, man. Certainly, Trey had a chance to make a play and did. And here comes fourth down. If you're Trey, you're begging deliverance goes for this. You're really hoping he goes for this, and he might, Scott. Needs a yard. I don't know why you would go for it. Field goal puts you up two scores with only 322 to go. We've talked about situations. This is for oh, sure a situation. Baby. Is he going to snap this? Under team, under team, team. Check 52. Hey, Goal five, line four, formation here on fourth and one. He's held the door once. Can he do it again? He might just take a delay a game. There's no way he's going to snap this. He ain't this crazy, bro. <laughs> he gets to every tournament playing as safe as possible. He ain't stupid. And he will take the delay a game and... He'll bring out his kicker. Yeah, I don't think Deliverance is going to be crazy. As a matter of fact, he, he's a school psychologist out there in Naples, Florida. So, yeah, he's going to play it safe. He, he ain't that crazy. That's not a perfect kick. Bridgewater oh, gets the hold, and it's up, and it's good. 20 to 10 now, and you got 246. Try to get back in this game. If you're Trey, you have three timeouts, Scott. You, you, you've kept the positive attitude all game long. Uh, this is where you just got to keep that positive attitude. This Look is at that this. big play on fourth down. Little playmaker up. Yikes. 
inches. No, nowhere to go besides chucking up to Kittle, and it's a game of inches. Kittle just got to it right before Trey's corner, and Trey had a valiant effort, clicked on, trying to come down and make the play himself, just, just missed it. He's going to run it with Cunningham, still on his feet to the 46. There's the runoff. You surely would hope to get in there on this play and maybe save the two-minute warning. Telling you with all three timeouts, if you're Trey, you're very much in the ball game still. A wide open, it's T.Y. and he gets out of bounds at the 37. That's big, the yards are big and probably more importantly, as you said, getting out of bounds at that 37, stopping the clock, preserving that two minute warning. Trey doing exactly what he needs to do here. He's showing a lot of fight in this game. Things have not gone his way, a lot of bad plays, but he continues to leave it all out on the line and not give up, and it's very admirable. I'm becoming a Trey Thomas fan more and more as this game goes on. Cunningham, and he'll get out of bounds, and he'll get another play before the two-man warning. This is great. This is great. This is textbook. And we've seen him do this before, though, where he looks crispy. It's immaculate. Everything's going good. And this would be around the time where he'd make that mistake. You can't do that if you're Trey. you got to keep this going. It's not been good for him down here, and there is the two-minute warning. At least if you're going to take that sack, it's at that two-minute warning to stop that clock. But now you're getting into a situation. You really got to be careful. He's just going to kick the three. Up, and it's good. So we got a seven-point game, 156 to go. And now he's going to have to play a little defense. Does have the three timeouts. Deliverance just needing a first down. And hold on to the football. Good deliverance. One first down will secure you that by a spot in the Elite Eight. $10,000, and I think more importantly, he needs those MCS points. This is a guy that's kind of right on the bubble of making that Madden ball. I believe if he made the final four, he would secure his spot via points. And he's on his way to doing that, but this first down is critical. If he does not get this, Trey will have the ball, will get the ball with plenty of time to go down and put a drive together. Dylan Let me get back bounces there, his way to the 33. Second and seven, clock stopped after the timeout, 1.51 to go. If you're deliverance, you do not need to run this ball all three downs. If he gives you the pass, you can go for it. But first, make him show you he can blow up the run. Deliverance trying to secure a bye, avoid that wild card round. Trade is hoping to stick around. Goes outside, yes, sir, yes, there's sir, a yes, hit. Sir. Reed coming yes, up. And we'll stop the clock again. He's got one timeout remaining, 1.47 to go now. And here comes a third and eight. I just like his enthusiasm, Scott. He just continues to keep a positive attitude, continues to fight, play after play. And we heard him say, I've been fighting all my life. Well, no need to stop now on third and eight. Biggest play of the game, and what do you got? Deliverance and shotgun tray in the 3-4, looking like he's going to send the goons. And he'll use a timeout. It's a good timeout. Deliverance switched up his formation, gave you a different look. You want to make sure you're prepared for it. Trey gave himself a chance to think. He's still thinking right now. Let's go. This is what one great user would call the go get him defense. Go get him! To deliverance, you can end it with the first down. He needs to get to the 40-yard line. Up under center once again. Big third and eight. One timeout remaining for Trey. Can he get deliverance off the field here with 147 left in the ball game? Montana. Looking, looking, just throws it up, and Kittle! Oh, I was about to throw up. <laughs> Kittle trying to break his heart he again. Give me a timeout, man. 
Not that time, and Trey says it. You've saved me a timeout, but what a way to play some Gotta defense. If you're kids. Trey, you're going up against the veteran deliverance, the favorite he's in the group. He's 2-0. You've had some tough breaks. Oh, he's got an opportunity. Got the speedster, but can't get away. Ran into a blocker, so he's going to have to start at the 28-yard line. Needs a 72-yard drive with 1.30 to go. Let's get our friends in the chat involved. You know we like to do that chat. Give me a one. Does Trey go down and tie the game? Give me a two if Deliverance gets the stop. Where's y'all heads at? We got a momentum drive, a guap drive in the fourth quarter with a minute 30 left. Implications. That's what the challenge is about. Cunningham's going to use his legs. And he'll slide down. That clock is going to be on the move. 120 to go. Seeing a decent amount of ones in the chat, Scott Trey. Making believers out of some of our viewers. Deliverance got some support in there. He's got the momentum, but does he have the time? He's got a wide open Marvin Harrison. Maybe he should have got out of bounds. What the hell are you doing? Not getting out of bounds was big right there. Scott forced him to use that last time out for 56 seconds. Plenty of time to work some magic. And he'll come down to Harvin. Now you got to get out of bounds. He makes a man miss. Living on the edge. 51 seconds to go. That was sticky. That was sticky. It was risky, but it was sticky. I like it. Cunningham to the side. Yes, sir. And no. One? Couldn't get the other foot in bounds. Talk to me. I can't get that one. It's funny. Trace one trying to game? talk to Deliverance. Can I get one fluke, one a game? <laughs> Deliverance just wouldn't pay him any mind. Like the professional is, he stayed focused and locked in because he knows he needs to stop to secure that bye. Third and five. He's got A open for the first down. That's where he goes, and he'll get out of bounds. Almost forgot where I was going. I've been going and I've been... 40 seconds to go, ball at the 23. I, I hate to say it, but this is... This is around that time, Scott, where Trey has had trouble. He's gotten down to this area of the field before the same the exact drive? spot. Come on, Spotify. This is the money. Is he saying they got an ad on the Spotify? Come on. Get the guy a premium account, League Ops. I don't like that. First and ten. That's out of line. This down brought to you by RG and his rant. To the outside, to Hardman makes a man miss, but he's going to be in bounds. So the clock's going to continue to run, and the runoff takes us down. Oh no, he audible! Second. He can't. You can't audible right there. It's wasted too much time. This might be the final play. Cunningham looking to the end zone, oh my God, and he'll get no. another shot at it. Oh my gosh! I definitely thought I could fit that over his head. It looked like Beak had a little bit of space. It would have been a risky throw, but it would have been better go than going Thanks, to the tight Frank. end. Oh, this is it. It's a little bit of thought. Whether you have experience or not, if you're deliverance, your heart is beating. Right. The palms are sweating. This is a trippy situation right here. Seven seconds left of the game. Trey third and two at the 15-yard line. And folks, this has been a good one. Oh yeah! Cunningham! Last play of the game. On, right man. here. It's gonna be fourth and two from the fifth team. The Snickers Lounge. Look at him. No one is on their seat. The Get Nick out of there. Look at him. Here we go. Did you see the intensity oh, of Bugs? Oh, this is insane. T.Y. had it in his hands. Here it is for the ball game. Final play of the game and maybe Trey's tournament. Deliverance, if he gets a stop, he'll have the bye. Cunningham barking out the orders here on this final attempt from the 15. I wish I could lie and say I have a doctor, though, bro. Now's not the time to not get confident, Trey. You've been optimistic the whole time. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. He's got to get this snap off. Here we go. This is it. Trey, buying time, gets it down to Mixon. What an awful play to draw up. 